Professor Charpentier, thank you so much for finding time and joining me today. I would like to ask you a few questions about Starmus. But first of all, how was yesterday's press conference? How do you feel? I, I, I think it was <laughs> very nice. Mm -hmm. I believe the audience understood the, the, mm -hmm. the, the purpose of the Starmus Festival yeah. and also what the Starmus Festival would like to uh, achieve mm -hmm. next year in, uh, in Bratislava. Yeah, true. And uh, yeah, there were uh, wonderful <laughs> speakers who also uh, emphasized on, on, you know, the, the major challenges uh, yeah. that the planet Earth is now facing, and this will be the, the main topics for, for next the seventh year's edition uh, Starmus. Yeah. Of the mm -hmm. Starmus, that's true. What do you think about Starmus, and what do you think will be your contribution? Yeah, I think Starmus is a, is a unique uh, festival, mm -hmm. uh, really bringing together music, art, and, and science. Mm -hmm. So initially, the focus was quite much on astro. Physics, mm, yeah. uh, but ultimately, uh, chemists, physicists, uh, and also biologists yeah. joined, but also uh, other speakers of speaking about economy and other challenges of of, of the uh, world of the world. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's uh, it's uh, it's a very unique festival in the sense that uh, the way the music and the science are, are brought together is. It, it's really in a, in, a, yeah, in a very sensitive manner and the music, music is also brought together in a mm -hmm. quite eclectic uh, mm -hmm. way. So I think it's, a, it's an opportunity for the audience to have access to maybe a, a combination of science topics and a combination of, of different styles of music that uh, it would not have otherwise the possibility to, uh, to yes. enjoy uh, in such a way. Mm -hmm. And my contribution yeah, is certainly to, to promote <laughs> the Starmus Festival uh, and, and also uh, try to, to bring exciting uh, mm -hmm. speakers uh, to, uh, yeah, to be part of, uh, of, of, of the festivals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And what part is the most enjoyable for you as a speaker? Uh, the, the, the part that is the most enjoyable for me as a speaker um, is to actually um, understand that in contrast to what always I think, the audience is not always aware yeah, yeah. <laughs> of uh, the topic that I'm going to, to discuss and I always think, oh, you know, people have heard uh, uh, or have already um, know a little bit of what I'm going to, to talk mm -hmm. about and actually not. And, and that is really the, the, the reason to to bring those, uh, those types of festivals is to bring to the public uh, in an enjoyable fashion uh, uh, some topics which uh, maybe they never had the chance to hear about or they mm -hmm. heard about but very superficially yeah. and here they really have access to the speakers who are uh, knowledgeable in their field of course. and who are the experts in their field mm -hmm. and who can convey uh, what they have to convey. And also the possibility in this uh, Starmus Festival to really interact directly with the audience. Of course, yeah, uh, because that's Because it's that's a festival sure. that takes place over mm -hmm. a couple of days. Mm -hmm. And um, this is what uh, I saw in previous festivals and I think what I thought was enjoyable and for the speakers and for the audience yeah. is the possibility to, to speak to the, this to interaction. the public. This interaction mm -hmm. that takes place uh, off stage. Oh, yeah. And I think yeah. it's, uh, it's very... Very I can imagine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And do you have any ideas of your topics for the next year? Do you have any ideas and give us a sneak peek or not yet? Not yet, I think. I'm thinking about it. I would not like to speak about what I have yeah. spoken the, the, the year before. Year. Mm -hmm. So I, I would like to, to change a little bit, maybe uh, speak more about um, uh, the, the macrobiology and the, the, the challenges of of you know the evolution of the, in the microbial world and and also the urgent need to continue to study the microbes mm -hmm. uh, for diverse uh, purposes. So maybe this will be the, the focus of of the next of, yeah. of the next uh, Starmus. Uh, my concern is not to speak about the the stars and the, the planets, but the the little stars that uh, <laughs> yeah. the, the microscopic stars. Microscopic stars. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, what would you like for people to take with them after the festival? Like, I think after the festival is to 
I will be very happy when the the, the public uh, really, and I think that will be the purpose of the next festival, um, really un, un, understand the challenges of uh, that we are now facing, mm -hmm. and also understand the responsibility that every one of us we have mm -hmm. actually to contribute and uh, to protect the planet mm -hmm. and make the planet uh, safer and also uh, an understanding i mean at least for for those who are interested in uh, here i speak about science of of let's say either for their kids or a young audience for themselves think of you know pursuing the field of science and technology and innovations uh, that um, maybe they can understand that actually they can do it uh, because they have access to to speakers who are so uh, from whom they, they they get the understanding that you know and they can also do it some inspiration mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and also some knowledge I mean uh, um, I believe that it's also an opportunity to listen to speakers discuss a little bit deeply about a topic that they did not have the chance to to um, to really um, appreciate to that extent. Mm -hmm and also uh, enjoy at the same time music and there are always programs that are very unique mm -hmm. in terms of music and musicians coming together uh, to play their music so i think it's also a unique chance to see uh, artists communicate science yeah, too and, <laughs> and artists and, and musicians to perform in a, with unique pieces of of music yeah yeah so i think it's uh, yeah it, it will be very entertaining and very exciting i agree with you <laughs> and if you had an almighty power let's imagine what would you like to change in this world from the scientific and humanitarian point of view well uh, if i have a, a super power <laughs> yeah um, this is a very interesting question. It's a mm -hmm. bit uh, challenging question. Yeah. <laughs> I think I would, um, yeah, I would, I would love to that we go back a little bit to the, to the natural aspects of, of for example, of food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, of, um, yeah, I, I mean. I think it's a very challenging question. You know, it <laughs> is definitely a challenging a, question. Very, very uh, the, the superpower. Yes, yeah, this will be actually to stop the destruction of the planet. Make sure mm -hmm. that we have, uh, you know, enough food for everyone in the yeah. future, mm -hmm. and that mm -hmm. we we um, we go back to enjoy the the, the real food, of, <laughs> the you know, of natural, the, right? the natural food. Yeah, <laughs> and mm -hmm. that uh, for sure. I mean that we we stop. Uh, violence and that we understand that yeah it, it's very critical to to protect the planet yeah, uh, yeah. from yeah from from uh, pollution from uh, destruction of you know of the trees of the plants uh, etc i think this is what uh, everyone would like uh, would like to see mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and certainly also the violence and, and the wars yeah oh, but yeah. this is very <laughs> very naive or very utopic no. but I believe that this is what, what uh, everyone would like to see it more peace and uh, and uh, more protection of our planet absolutely and taking care of each other exactly exactly mm -hmm. and for sure fighting uh, poverty oh, yeah. uh, fighting hunger yeah uh, yes 100% mm -hmm. and violence yeah. mm -hmm. totally agree <laughs> and um, let's talk about Star Mars in Armenia yeah first of all what do you remember, like the best memories of memories of it? Um, but f for me, it was really the discovery of uh, of Yerevan. Yeah, yeah. And uh, of the, the the kindness of uh, of the Armenian people, really. And I know that you have Armenian roots too. I have some Armenian roots, uh -huh. <laughs> quarter. Uh huh. Uh, so it was, uh, yeah, it was very interesting uh, for me to mm -hmm. to enjoy uh, Yerevan. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I did not have the chance to to, to explore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which um, I hope to do in the future. Mm -hmm. And and then for sure uh, there was also, I mean, beside the, the kindness of <laughs> of the people of Armenia and the, the cultural heritage of 
of Yerevan and uh, that we really feel when we are in uh, Yerevan. Um, I think a unique festival, again, you know, because this is always uh, uh, with always uh, the, the, the Stamus festivals are always, um, how do you say, interested in bringing new speakers mm -hmm. that have never spoke to previous festivals. So this was a the chance to listen to new exciting speakers and new exciting topics mm -hmm. and uh, I have to say a, a unique concert as well. Oh yeah, that was really uh, Absolutely. phenomenal. Uh, it really was fantastic. phenomenal, phenomenal. It was, uh, I mean, it was incredible. Yeah, incredible. I, I remember these emotions from the concerts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think everyone, uh, even uh, you know, in the audience, uh, the public was used to really go to a lot of concerts, really appreciated the uniqueness of, uh, of this concert. Of so, this concert. Yeah, it was uh, yeah. very, very good. At the storm was, I know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we all felt it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Professor Charpentier, thank you so much. Yeah. This is all. Thank These you. are all my yeah, questions. Yeah. And I, I wish us all a great star in 2024. Yes, yes, and I hope that uh, a lot of Slovakian will... Uh, <laughs> will attend the, Enjoy, the festival and yeah. other also other other people from uh, uh, more eastern europe and all over the world will be coming to enjoy the unique festival of starmas yeah 100% yeah. thank okay. you <laughs> thank you